Hello, Planet Sewers. It's Mathlete here. Happy DLC release day. I spent most of my morning looking at the meerkats. They are so cute. Everybody say hello to Ruby. She's super excited that I'm home and I'm talking. She wants to talk with me. Anyway, I have a riverboat dome speed build for you today. I have some stuff planned for the new DLC. I have other projects that I was working on before that that I want to get out. So it might take me a minute. Maybe I'll get one out sooner rather than later. But here I am making my template for the wall on this dome. Hello Ruby. Originally when I built this it was for aerials. However, they are not the highlight of the video here. It is mostly the dome. I just wanted an animal to attract them over to this station. So I picked the gharial and they do have a little see-through back there with the train ride or they might be able to see them swimming. But right now, like I said, I'm just making my template for this wall that I'm going to repeat around in a circle to create the dome. So I'm picking out all the decoration elements that are going to go onto this wall so that when I duplicate everything is there and I'm trying out different pieces um, I skipped a couple renditions of spinning around and seeing what happens so I needed some filler on one side so I did copy this over a few times it was a struggle because it's so tall to get it to the correct height with where I was at and the view I had Moving it around again, I put a little tile there of windows so that I would know where it needed to be. And got it right that time. And still I do have to add one more. So I attempt the spin around and I notice here that I am not quite matching in the top part. It's got some gaps. So I'm going back, rethinking how I want to do that with the gaps that are there. So I took off that pillar, looking at it, thinking about what I want to go up there. I tried out a few different ideas and ultimately I end up deciding on the piece that's right there. And I wanted it to be different on the front, but as I tested different things, I didn't really like the feel they had so I ended up just using this piece here and duplicating it front and back so that the squares are on the front side and they're on the back side and they fill in that gap that's there so that when I spin it around there won't be the huge gap at the top and duplicating it to the other side was my first thought and I was struggling so I went right back down just to one piece and recreated my dome and put the piece down away from it. And to make the dome, you have to have the two pieces that are gonna create the circle across from each other. And then you have to duplicate the whole building. So it's actually several different buildings it will not duplicate on the grid. And right there, I should have decided to spin the other way. I was purposely placing the entire time so that I could use a glass door on the stairs. But when I got here, I totally forgot about that plan and moved the entire dome. And here we are with the gharials. They just got arrived into their habitat. They uh, got delivered, not arrived but same difference and making a simple habitat for them making sure that they can get in the water this is just my blueprint zoo so I wasn't too concerned about having a fancy smancy habitat for them I just wanted them to be able to get into the water and attract guests over to my uh, riverboat station here so using the aquatic stairs. I was so excited 
when I finally figured out that they have snap points. I had turned that off once when I first started playing the game and never turned it back on and regretted it. Once I figured out how it worked, I felt really silly. But anyway, back to our dome. The Garials are happy enough for now. And moving things around, I took out a little bit on each side. Originally I was going to use that same piece there and watch the boat. And the, I could have got away with that, but the tire bump that actually does hit the wall. It goes through it a little. So I thought, well, I'll just move this here. And then I didn't like how that looked. So I went for a different piece and looking for something to go into the middle of that. And I ultimately settled on this. I'm super excited about the DLC Africa pack that dropped today. It has some amazing building pieces and I was most excited about all the flexicolor options and the pillars. I was so excited about those too. A little sad because I had custom built ones in my Memphis Zoo and I really could have used those pillars they released today. Now with this wall here, my first thought was I'm gonna have a straight piece coming out to the land and I didn't like how it came together. So ultimately I will delete the brick walls. I just didn't like how it came in from what I had in my mind. I felt if I stayed straight out, it was really wide and a lot of wasted space. And, and it was just awkward from what I had envisioned originally. I was gonna kinda make like two straight pieces and then you have the dome in the middle. Yes, Ruby, hello. And so, like I said, I will just delete this part, but I left it in, I thought I had edited out most of my rendition of this, but I guess I skipped it. So we'll leave it there. Just the process of creating something. And I'm trying to grab just that top part so that I can bring it over and create an opening that just has an open air feel. Um, it's about this time that I decide I don't like those walls and I'm gonna get rid of them because as I look at how it goes together it looks like I decided to grab that one and just delete this instead of the way I was trying to do it before so each side's a little bit different one has a bigger opening than the other checking my riverboat station settings there trying to get them going I noticed that one was stuck it wasn't moving so I just turned the don't block station on. Nobody was in line over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just get the boats moving. And then I decided to pause the game. I do have quite a bit in this zoo. So it does get distracting with alerts. And I do go through and fix most of them eventually. And Ruby is having a blast behind me with her rope toy with blocks. She thinks it's highly entertaining to slam those blocks onto her perch. If I tried to put her in the other room, she would scream 10 times more than she already does. And the microphone still picks it up. So anyway, I just gave her a, a nice yelling too. So hopefully she'll chill out for a minute. And, and right here, I'm noticing that my spacing is not going to create a perfect circle. I could go back and change how I've aligned them, but I like the look. So right now I was looking through to see what pieces maybe I could just fill in and the center of each side would have a filler, but I didn't like anything. So I decided right here, I would just align those four a little bit differently and remove the double block that I have on the windows and go down to a single and adding in a little bit of a touch here to cover up the top of that window so it has support where the path is going over and maybe one day I will post a picture actually I can do it today of Ruby the recorder interrupter 
I think I've started and stopped probably 10 times. I could probably be done with my voiceover by now if it were not for her. But maybe I'll put her out on Twitter and on Instagram for you. The Twitter link is in my banner. I'll try to get the Instagram one up on my channel banner too. I uh, couldn't get logged in from my other computer to get the link. I was trying to edit that today. So changing my pass. I just, hi Ruby, that was really loud. Ruby says hello. Anyway, what was I talking about? Oh, I was changing my pass. I wanted them to slope down over here. I think originally I was gonna have them go up and over like they are on the other side. I guess I need to rename today's episode The Ruby Show. She is quite the character today. Anyway, onward with roofing. I really wanted to go with the copper look. I was looking for different pieces. I had hoped for a little bit more to pick from, but I didn't see anything that got my interest. So off with the flat one I go. And then I knew I wanted a little mini dome on top. So I took the top two pieces off to add that when I get done here. So again, I just spin around that one little section. I'm duplicating it as a whole. Um, and then just spinning around. I can see right there that I'm gonna have to shift it up a little bit more, but I'll do that once I have all the groups of that one set of roof that I made. So it's the same plan as the dome. Decorate this how you would like to have it, and then it will repeat around. So grabbing all those, shifting them up, looking under there to see if there was any gaps or if we were good, and picking out what I want for my dome piece up here. So I decided to go with the smaller one. It almost fit perfectly, and I looked around at a couple of ideas to fill in that tiny little gap, and then decided nobody's gonna be up here really looking in that funny ruby, yep. We just left it that way and duplicate on the top. I thought that looked a little too pointy, so I went with the shorter one and tried out a couple of different toppers. I still wasn't super excited about that simple topper, but I just went with it. I'm not the greatest at building toppers, so I just went with what the game has. Maybe I'll give a go at building a more elaborate topper on something else. I tried out a number of different things here to kind of create a barrier so nobody falls into the water. I didn't want to use grid pieces. Um, so I found this and decided to go with that to create the barrier. I did notice as I did the walkthrough that I don't quite have it placed in the right spot for when they exit. I thought they exited a little closer to the little blue mechanic spot, but they don't. So if you do download this off the workshop, you'll need to move that over if it bothers you that people just walk through the barrier. But And I did try to make my own little supports under here, and I didn't like those either, so I just went with in-game supports. And then I realized once I got this done, it bothered me that they didn't connect into the ground. So I could have just left it alone and those would have been the supports. But I went ahead and just left the regular pass support there. I had already done it. And I mean, how many of you guys go swim around and look at underneath what's there for buildings and supports? And a lot of people do, I guess, but not everybody cares about that realism. Sometimes it bothers me, other times I don't catch it or think about it. it depends on what I'm doing. It did bother me here because you can see straight down there so I thought it was a little odd. You just have all these paths hovering over the air or over the water I should say. Readjusting these guys so that I can get a better curve and ended up redoing the whole thing. So I might as well have started it from scratch instead of trying to copy. And flopping a copy down, I got lucky. They exactly hit the ground 
or almost. I didn't actually go down there and double check, but it was close enough, so I left that the way it was. And when I get to this part, I didn't like how it looked because the boat's got to come through there and I've got to get rid of some. So I thought about putting this way up high and I thought that looked funny because then I felt like I would need to duplicate that look and it looked a little chaotic to me. So I tried out this gate here on the iron fence and I kind of liked the way it looked so I decided to go with it and see where it led me. So adding a little bit more, shifting over and I tried it right here but it was awkwardly in the path right there as they came down and turned and so I decided I would just place one of these kind of in the center still give a feel of protection from falling into the lake that we have here and since those were a little bit higher I went ahead and flipped another version over so that it would go into the water I mean into the ground under the water I am struggling to talk today apparently it seems to be an issue most days but today it's really bad and scooting those around to get some spacing a little bit better duplicate it over here and pull those up so that they have that same height like they do on the other side and so nice iron entry on that side redoing the path so that they can get down there it was giving me a little bit of a fight so I had to get creative and then I'll shift the dock over so that it covers up the path and drop it down and I end up changing the path in the end so that the curb matches the dock a little better uh, one of the natural paths had a good curb that had good coloring so I ultimately will pick that and just so my gharials don't wander off we're gonna contain them with some nice bamboo because that's totally realistic those bamboos are gonna keep those gharials from walking out but they do in the game so I went with it anyway finishing off the last little pieces to get the guests to come out here and move around I thought about building the deck all the way around so they can get to the entrance and then I didn't do it because I felt like this deck didn't really go with the station so this is like a temporary one and here we are with the finished dome station getting a look at it I was taking screenshots for the workshop item just a little pass through I did try a Tejit cam but he doesn't go across so I gave up on that and we're just gonna free camera around and I was looking around for different angles to get a screenshot not a lot going on on the inside and here we go a little view on the outside watching the boats come and go and we'll get a nice peek at our crazy Gariel. He's gonna defy the laws and come through that wall in a moment. It was super funny. I was like, oh man, you messed up my shot, dude. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. And if you did get the DLC, I hope you love those meerkats as much as I do and the Finnick boxes. And may the RNG odds be ever in your favor.